Hello everybody, I'm Dan here from the Hammer Game Channel and welcome to a Mexico playthrough on Man the Guns. Um, I was going to do a Trotsky playthrough, but I think everybody's doing Trotsky. So I'm going to do a fascist playthrough instead. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so, hopefully, best case scenario, America goes into a civil war because then we can exploit that weakness. Because obviously there'll be pants. Uh, and we can probably go ahead and mop up maybe Central America. But we'll see. Right now we're going to go ahead and start heading towards uh, fascism. Which I think we do want to go ahead. Oh, actually wait. There is two ways you can go. I think. I'm just going to go down here and go for the gold shirts. Right wing power of militaries. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're just going to go straight for that. We'll probably still have a civil war at some point, so I think I might just <coughs> set the divisions up like that. I think. Now, you might hear some noise in the background, as usual, um, but I'm hoping that's not going to be the case this time. Ah, oh, man, the guns. I was, I was tempted to do Trotsky, like, Trotsky would be fun, but I think we'll go ahead and just try and make the America fascist, because, um, well, why the hell not? Now, do we want the church the most reverent, Gal? Archbishop of Mexico City has passed away today due to colitis. It was to say it is one of the hardline opposition to the socialist parties of the government, together with attempts at compromise towards the end of the Sestero, Sestero War. <coughs> do you want to go with atheist state or do you want to go for the assertive ch Do you want the church to be a... Here. Rewrite the constitution. Assertive church. I think I do want to go down this. Powerful church, Catholic state. Let's have a assertive church. Why not? Now that's our leader, so we're not going to go down this way. I'm sure that's that's definitely the fascist leader. Um, so we're not going to go down that part of the tree. Here we are, short guns. I don't know when there's going to fire, but we have seen it fire pretty early in all other playthroughs, so... Generate war goal tension limit minus 50%, justify war goal time minus 25, daily fascism. Lovely. Oh, that's just getting us um, stability right now. Spanish Civil War. I would go and help them out, but I'm not going to. <coughs> oh, fascist support's already at 20%, that's quite good, because we do need to get up to 40. Second London Naval Treaty signed, we've got the Mondragon. Research now, so we've got up to get up to date guns rather. Um, rebellion. Great! I cannot wait for this. That's gonna be great. See, because there's support them there, but Yugoslavia recognizes the Soviet Union. So, you're going to go communist. Well, that's interesting. Um, now, I have went ahead and turned on the mod. Like, you know how you can change like uh, what the AI does with the focus tree? Everybody is on random. So, this could become an absolute, you know, mess. Boring Japan. <coughs> and boring Germany so far. There are two nations that would really help change this up. Because some of the folk left have got... Nothing really good. Global defense looks like uh, the UK wants to kill off their stability within the space of three focuses for them. Um, international struggle, we could just go ahead and grab that. I think I'll go ahead and grab the National Bank. We probably will go down this side of the tree um, since we probably do want to go grab support. Because we do want to support him. Oh, military leader costs a bit, bit of a pain, but oh well. 
<coughs> interventions in the Americas. Interesting, they haven't done this yet. Okay, okay, okay. Tension's very high, so you probably should have went and actually went ahead and done that. Yeah, we're not going to get that done in time. So we're going to have a civil war, but then we're going to go communist. They're not communist, fascist anyways. I probably should have just went and done that. So that's going to be 70 days. How many days left until it happens? Yeah. <coughs> we ain't doing... We ain't doing well there. That's happening. It's like tensions. Hmm. Why would I want to go for a weak church? Why would I want to do that? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, if we, we once we finish this, it's going to help reduce the tensions right now. Which is going to be quite nice, actually. I paused it, idiot. So I think that's just stopped that. Yeah, so it's now back at moderate. I go back up the high. So we're probably going to avoid the civil war with him. Which makes sense, considering he is going to become our leader at some point. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Obviously the plan is to take out America as soon as we need to do that, because they'll just get too strong for us, and with Churchill possibly plopping up in the... well, popping up rather, not plopping. Um, they're going to be trying to... Otto's here! Oh my days! He might lose to the Austrians again. Um, he's going to try and just dominate everything, so yeah. What does that actually do? What is that? Oh, a building slot. So we're going to get six building slots. Bit random, but I shall take the six building slots. Just vibrate them in my pocket. Yes. Um. Okay, that's gonna go up. That's fine. I have to want to change the limit conscription. I don't think we will. I think we should go ahead and grab the. Oh, there is none. Yeah, let's just go to Limit Conscription, why not? Um, yeah, it's going to go up, that's fine, because this is halfway done. So, is he going straight for? <coughs> he might, he could take them, possibly, right now, but... I don't know why they didn't do that ages ago, actually. Oh, and you can get binned for now. Let's get Mechanical Compute in. Nationals are winning. That's good, I guess. I don't know if I will end up attacking Germany. It would have been cool if the UK had went fascist as well. Just like a fascist world. War Plan Crimson. Why are you doing War Plan Crimson? Right, privatization's done. Let's go ahead and do the Claude, Claude, Claudillo Private Armies. Mm -hmm. Which is going to give us 1% recruitment population and 5% war support, which is a lovely. We should probably go ahead and grab Luis Montes de Oca here. He's a consumer goods factory. He's minus 5 for a financial expert. We'll grab him. He'll give us maybe an extra factory. I don't know what it was. Probably not done that for us. I'm wondering if we will actually have a civil war or not at this point. We should probably go ahead and... Do that though. We are going to be quite a lot of guns short, but get rid of that awful template. Mm -hmm. um, when are we going to be able to do this? I was hoping. Are these church ones going to change anything? Powerful church. Legacy of Cr Legion of Christ. Crusade against atheism. That just makes sense. It's fascism. Mobilization speed. Would we'll definitely go for Syndicus Youth. Unless that general, I don't know if that's going to be good or not. Division, deploy eight divisions of ten infantry bat battalions and support. Oh my days. 
Oh, that is perfect. I will happily take those divisions. And let's support General Cadillo. Cadillo, maybe. <coughs> but he's going to become our offence guy, which is going to be great. Um, he is in charge of them, isn't he? No, he's not. Salvador Abascal is. So he's in charge of the um, the civil war, like when they break up. He's not actually going to be our leader. It'll be interesting to see who it is then. When we continue the new deal. Hmm. I'll see what they're going to do. So they're not going to be going fascist in the um, the CSA. So who knows? It's going to go back up to moderate, but that's fine. We're going to be dealing with that anyways. We'll be placated. Yeah, it's gonna go. It's gonna go. Get rid of them. Get rid of that, please. Thank you. There we go. So we could do strike breaking. I don't think we want to dilly dally with that part of the tree right now. What's our fascism support at? 33. Okay, that's fine by me. Could go ahead and start pushing down here because that will give us some. That will give us some daily fascism support. So, I'm going to do this one. Calais is going to come our... Um, oh, Austria votes to unite with hung uh, Hungary. Very nice. So we're going to get uh, Calais as a field marshal, and we're going to get Calistas. What is this? Uh, Pope Pius XI has issued a uh, papal encyclical addressing the Mexican situation while the... Christ Adia? Oh, I don't know. It was resolved in the negotiation table and the open bloodshed has been ended. The church is still worried about the direction Mexico is heading in. The encyclical... Oh, I, I am terrible at speaking words. Urges Mexican voters to side with the religious candidates in elections and calls for Mexican religious parties such as the Catholic Action to address social problems such as poverty to prevent more revolutionary violence. We're going to go for a powerful church. We got minus two consumer goods now from that. So we're going to become a Catholic state by the looks of things. That's going to help us boost ourselves. Oh, that's going to help improve the fashion levels as well. China declare one communist China. I'm just trying to read that there. Sedilo. Saturnio Sedilo is going to become our leader. So it is not the guy that's in charge right now. It is going to be him. He's reckless. He is a field marshal though. We have some okay field marshals now. Um, control the army. Grab the radio. I wonder if we'll actually have a civil war now. Have we kind of just bypassed the whole thing? or Who knows? Who knows? I'm going to to see how much damage we can do to flipping these guys, because I really don't want to have to invade them. If we can flip Brazil, then I think invading folk will be easier. Amelia Earhart has um, managed to get around the globe successfully. That's an ace for America, possibly against us if they say yes. Um, I don't know why they haven't done restoration of Austria-Hungary yet. France and Britain are working together this playthrough by the looks of things. I think we can actually do both of those as well. We can actually go down there if we wanted to, but we're not. We're going to go tr unlocks decisions, transfer lands to church. It's only going to take 35 days. Japan's invading China. Who would have expected that? So and then we're going to also get decisions, pardon Cristerio fighter, and attend public mass decisions. I'm very eager to see what those do. No, UNS. So we can do... Oh, we can't actually do that now. We've got to go ahead and do this. There's so many focuses that flip you over in this. Knights of Columbus. Social Catholicism. Okay, we're going to rewrite the Constitution of 1917. 
We can actually turn ourselves into a Catholic state. We can actually go ahead and do that. Do you know what? Yep. We're going to do it. Second Mexican Revolution. Okay. Right. So we are going to have a civil war after all. I was going to say, I didn't think we were going to get away with not having one. But, um... I think it's going to be up here that they're going to control, and in the south. So what we'll do is, we'll have two armies. They are going to significantly lose divisions, but if we do that and that, at least they'll have guys in positions. And I'm hoping we're not going to lose a lot of the good guys that we have. We're still short of guns, though, which is going to be a problem. All right, we've re restoration of Austria-Hungary, and we've rewritten the Constitution. We'll do the Legion of Christ. They went straight for protect Czechoslovakia. So, they'd be dying here if they decide to do that. Um, or we might be seeing them getting pretty strong for then Germany to absolutely destroy. Um, they're doing the French pan. They're strengthening their government. And Neville's here, but I'm not presuming he's going to be long or around for very long. Because they can do all these now. Well, they can do motion, no confidence. Which, I guess, just gets rid of Neville. Minus five stability. Ah. Oh well. How close are we to that civil war? Ninety one days. Powerful church. Do we want to go up to powerful church? Is that what no, I think we're at the point that we need to be at. Oil workers strike. Oil workers unionize in ninety thirty five with the blessing of President Cardenas. Creating the Sindicato Unico de Trabajadores Petroleros. That is definitely not how you say it. They immediately began to, re -nego uh, to negotiate higher wages and better working conditions, but were rebuffed by the powerful international oil firm, uh, or like uh, Royal Dutch Shell and Standard Oil of California. The matter passed to an arbitration committee and eventually went to the courts, with the burning question being whether the oil firms could afford the higher wages. According to recent investigations, the Mexican subsidiaries make even more profit than oil companies in the United States, but still refuse to come to an agreement with the workers. It seems they have the backing of powerful regional strongmen and see themselves as above the law. Outrageous. This exploitation is unethical and must end. Well, obviously this isn't going to happen because that's a religious and insurrection whereas we're having an atheist insurrection <coughs> 61 days pardon Christ oh that's what that does it gives us war support and army experience okay crusade against atheism will be fascist in a minute I don't think we're gonna yeah we're not gonna have um Calais even become the fascist party leader. We're gonna just have, I think, the guy that's currently there, Saskal. But we'll see. We will see. But obviously, we're gonna have to deal with a civil war before this focus actually finishes. The Panay incident has happened. And I, I still don't know what your plan is. I don't know. I actually don't know. Yeah, it's a happening, is it? It's 12 days away. Grab the offense expert. Yeah, what are they actually doing? Because he's not done them. They could, they could go communist, actually. Atheists. How dare they? Right, seven divisions in the south. Did we just lose all the leaders that we had? Okay. Could be worse for us. Right. U7 deal with that. 
you said and get there. We cannot do that right now because we're in a civil war. Fantastic. Let's go for the military budget review. Why not? We should be using our little advantage of being kind of in a position uh, to start moving forward. We should take advantage of that in action. Because by the looks of things, they're not actually here yet. Go, 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 go! Okay, it would, it would seem they have appeared now. Don't exactly know what the whole plan is, but... Why did... why... where are all the divisions at? I have a funny feeling I'm going to run into them very soon. But are we possibly going to be able to pull off an encirclement here? No, but we could potentially encircle these guys. No, we didn't encircle them, disappointingly. The only issue that I have is the fact that we have very limited amount of guns. I'm presuming it's the same for them as well. I think a lot of their divisions must be down here. Apparently they do have a decent amount, so... Just see if we can actually just get those three stuck. The chances of it happening are pretty high. Yep, there you go. Hermo Silo, we'll head to there. Reach out to the Weir Group. Oh my days, they bloody went communist. Well, they're going communist. They haven't put them into their uh, cabinet yet, but that is... They're reaching out to those... So I'm hoping they're going to give us a political advisor soon. I'm hoping they're just going to capitulate after this. Should probably just go ahead and grab that just in case they come and reinforce themselves over here. Well, they're not going to be able to take any of this now, so happy days. We just need to get into that capital, <coughs> which is... it's over. Fantastic. Right. Now that we kind of, we have our stability now really, let's go ahead and grab the Crusade Against Atheism. Since we have dealt with that uprising, well that's a war, uh, we'll go ahead and start possibly getting some divisions sorted now. We can go ahead and do that first. So even like 40 divisions, they haven't got them in yet, the communists. I could really do them going into a civil war. I could really do but get myself an extra research slot, actually. Or several research slots. See, that could be very good, but two... What, well, 1% recruitable population could be good as well. Alright, we can still go down there. Good. I was going to say, whew. Just keep an eye on America, just want to see if they're gonna. Wait, I can't really tell if. Wait, where? Can you not see their. Oh, they're going here. They've not got them yet. Which is rather disappointing. I want to see them going communist as soon as. I don't have to dilly dally. Selective Training Act. End of the Spanish Civil War. 
Unlimited conscription. Wow, they're going to be up in limited conscription. Good for them. Triumph of Cynicism. To in charge. Oh, Salvador Basque. Wait, Catholic Mexico. Was he? I'm trying to think. Is he? Was he the leader on Kaiserreich for me? No, no, no. I don't think he was. No, I don't think he was. No, he wasn't. Right, Triumph of Synarchism is gone, and the fourth edition Nals happened. Let's go for church schools so I can get a research slot. As two is just not the way to go at this point. Um, has America got thingy? In? No, they haven't. Why? What are they doing? You have a war goal in Japan as well. Oh. And our artillery's done. Shall we go ahead and check out what's happening? Oh, oh Austria Hungary managed to um, take the checks without having the like having them as a puppet or anything, so that's quite good for them. I'm quite happy that's happened. Um, they'll be stronger in that way. Probably not as not as strong as you'd think they'd probably be, but well, I'd like them to be anyways rather. Uh, let's do international struggle. Right, so let's keep going. Oh my days, Australia wants to be gone. They want to leave the UK. Protect the homeland. So we could be seeing this bloody Pacific faction popping up. Yep, the international struggle's gone, done. Rather, not gone. Um, let's do Hispanic culture. Hispanic culture's done. Let's grab you. And you. Not you. Ugh, idiot. Spanish refugee. Civil War refugees? The Civil War is already over. It's going to do nothing for us. Right, we have tons of political power to fanny about with. So let's go to the partial mobilization, extensive conscription. We don't really need to go ahead and do those, I don't think. Yes, we shall do the flangelist. Flangist veterans. Flangist? Phalangist? Flangist veterans. Can we start making people go fascist? Oh, yes we can. Yes we can. And the United declared war in Iraq because, you know, reasons. Oh, they'll be going for the... Oh, is it, what's it called? Did they do what I think they've done? It went for... Oh my god, what the hell is the UK on? Invading Netherlands as well. A bit harsh, is it not? And Iran, what are you doing? Just like bucker it, just think secure. Oh, the security oil imports. That's what they're wanting. They're wanting that oil. The greedy buggers. Let's grab the war industrialists. We need the factories quickly. Right, we'll finish this focus. No, we don't want that. We want to try... We want to start... Boosting fashion in all the other countries. So yeah, guys, we'll leave that first episode there. So thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed. And I shall be back very soon for um, some more.